you're getting really good quality glass you're getting a great reticle it's a good rugged quality made scope and really could stack up nicely against a lot of scopes in higher price points how's it going guys welcome back to the pilot patriot channel today we're going to be looking at this 3 to 18 by 50 scope from primary arms this scope is sitting on top of my Aero Precision M5E1 in 308. I have done a review on this rifle, so if you want to check that out, I'll put a link right here at the top of the screen. But today, we're here to look at the scope that I have on here. This is the ACSS HUD DMR 308 scope from Primary Arms. This is a very high quality scope, but it's going to come in at a mid-range price point, which is really great for you guys. They'll want to step it up to something with a few more features, but you're not looking at spending those thousand dollar prices. Primary Arms is really giving you a lot of value for your money here. The features of the scope that we're going to talk about in a few minutes really make it a great buy. This scope is going to go great on any 308 rifle, but where it really shines is for those of you that want a wide range of magnification. Um, this thing goes from 3 to 18. Not only can you get those fast close-up shots, but also you can dial this thing in and make those really nice precision shots out to a thousand yards. First thing we're going to do is go over some of the specs on this scope. Then we'll take a closer look at uh, the features. And the big selling point for this primary arm scope is going to be the reticle. And we're going to dive real deep into that too. So make sure you stick around for that. If you like these kind of videos, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that notification bell and give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate that. Like I said, this is a 3 to 18 by 50. Uh, so you get that wide range of magnification from 3 times zoom all the way up to 18. This is a first focal plane scope. And what that means is that your reticle is going to zoom in and out with your magnification so that no matter what magnification you're at, the readings on that uh, reticle are still going to be accurate. It does have a 50 millimeter objective lens and that's going to give you uh, a nice wide field of view. It's also going to let a lot of light in for uh, those low light shooting situations um, and really brighten everything up. It's going to give you three and a half to 3.9 inches of eye relief on the back back here. The ocular lens in the back is uh, 35 and a half millimeter. And the field of view on this scope at 100 yards on three times zoom is going to give you about a 36 foot field of view. 100 yards on the 18 times zoom is going to give you about six feet field of view. The click values on these turrets are 0.1 mil and the total windage and elevation adjustments are going to be 50 MOA. The tube diameter on this is 30 millimeter. And it does have an illuminated reticle option, and we're going to look at that in a minute. That's a really cool feature that you don't always see in this price point. Back here on the back, it does have a fast focus eyepiece back here so you can focus in. And you can see here it does come with the flip open scope caps. Uh, that's a nice feature to help protect your glass. And, it, and that does come with the scope. That's not an additional option. This is going to be uh, IP67 waterproof. So that's going to give you uh, 30 minutes of water protection up to like 10 meters. The lenses are multi-coated and fog resistant. Uh, they're nitrogen purged. Now the weight on this scope is 25.4 ounces. Uh, that's very respectable. Uh, it's not the lightest scope out there by any means, but it is good for what it is. It's made out of 6061 aluminum, it's anodized matte black, and it's powered by one CR2032 battery. You will notice I do have the sunshade on here. It does not come with that, but that is an affordable extra option you can get uh, when you go to the Primary Arms website uh, and you pull up this scope. It does have a list of discounted accessories that you can get along with this scope. That's gonna include the sunshade, the scope mounts, and all that good stuff. Now that we've kind of got all those specs out of the way, let's get closer look in here and uh, talk more about the actual features of this thing. All right, guys, you'll notice that it does have some nice big turrets on here, and it does have these nice aggressive ribs, so you can easily grab a hold of that to turn these. 
On this side, that's gonna be your windage adjustment knob. On top here is your elevation. To adjust those, all you have to do is pull it out and then turn, and you'll get a nice tactile and audible click. Like I said, those are 0.1 mil adjustments. And another great feature, you can take a coin here, loosen up these adjustments here, and take those knobs off, and once you have it sighted in, you can lock in your zero, zero point. So any adjustments you make from there, it's easy to quickly go right back to zero. Over on the left side of your scope here, you do have a couple different adjustments. Uh, this here is going to be your parallax and side focus knob. So uh, whatever distance you're shooting at, you can turn that to reduce any parallax. That's going to go all the way from 10 yards up to 500 yards and then infinity. And that's the first knob here closest to the scope. The next one here is your illuminated reticle knob. It does have adjustments from one to 10, so you can dial in that brightness depending on your lighting situation. One thing I really like about this is in between each uh, illumination setting, it does have an off. So no matter what setting you're on, you can quickly turn in any direction to turn that illumination on or off. I think that's a nice feature there. Back here at the back is your magnification ring. Uh, like I said before, that's gonna give you magnification from three all the way over to 18 times magnification. It does have this nice fin on there to allow you to quickly get your fingers on there and turn it. That knob is pretty tight. It, it doesn't spin freely, but that's a good thing. You want it to be kind of a nice tight uh, adjustment on there so that once you set in your magnification, you don't have to worry about that changing unless you want it to. Now you will see some holes here and that's gonna allow you to move that fin to several different positions depending on, I just keep mine set right here in the middle around seven, seven to eight times magnification. Like I mentioned before, back here on the back, you do have your reticle focus back here and that one's nice and easy to spin. It has those aggressive raised ribs so you can uh, really get your fingers on there to make that adjustment without having to worry about your fingers slipping. Now with your scope cap on there, it is still possible to make those focus adjustments. And again, on that left side there, this outside spot can be opened with a coin and that's where your uh, CR2032 battery is gonna be. I am using the Primary Arms Basic Scope Mount here, and you can see I do have a Vortex brand bubble level. I am gonna put a link below to the Primary Arms website where you can get all these things, the scope and the accessories, so make sure you check that out. And that's pretty much it for the specs and the features of this thing. Now let's take a look at what really makes this scope special, and that's the reticle. All right, guys, now let's take a look at this reticle here. I know I'm not giving you the best viewpoint here, but it is difficult to get that camera lined up perfectly through the scope. I'm aimed at a dead tree sticking up right there in the middle, right on top of the reticle. The magnification you're seeing right now is a 10 times magnification. We're just going to dial that in just a little bit for you. All right, that's going to be your 18 times magnification. What you'll notice is that reticle adjusts along with your magnification. So as we dial back, we're going to go all the way back to three times magnification. You'll notice that that reticle is getting smaller. And that's so no matter what distance you're at, what magnification you're at, those holdovers are going to be the same and still be accurate no matter what magnification you're at. Let's switch over to some screenshots of that reticle itself, and we'll talk about how to read some of those holdover options. The reticle is centered around a chevron. That's going to give you a nice, tight, precision center point. The very tip of that chevron is going to be your point of aim, and you'll notice that that chevron is surrounded by a big horseshoe. And what that's going to do is let you, at close quarters, if you needed to make a quick shot, that horseshoe does give you a nice, big point of aim if you're doing any kind of close quarter shooting on those lower magnifications. And that chevron Chevron is as precise as you could get the very tip of that chevron on your target for those long range precision shots. Now your yardage holdovers, the very tip of the chevron is going to be 100 yards. The bottom of the chevron is 200 yards. The very top of that center line is going to be your 300 yard hold. And then as you can see, the rest are marked four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way out to a thousand yard holdover. 
Now, uh, what you'll notice is that this scope is really designed so that it tries to take away a lot of the human error and allows you to make these holds without having to do any math or anything like that. It gives you a quick reference point for all those holds without having to do any calculations in your head. This reticle does have an auto ranging function. The vertical auto ranging is going to be those vertical lines to the left and right of that center horseshoe. And that's based off the average size of a human torso. 30 six inch tall target so basically what you're going to do is you're going to line up the bottom of the target with the bottom of those vertical lines whichever line the top of the target lines up with that's going to help you figure out what your yardage is so if your 36 inch tall target or your human torso lines up with the height of that bar with the six above it that's going to mean you're at roughly 600 yards the horizontal ranging is calibrated for an 18 inch wide target the average width of the human from shoulder to shoulder would be about 18 inches or 18 inch wide target and to do that you're going to use those horizontal lines going down underneath the horseshoe so if that 18 inches falls in the width of the horseshoe that's going to mean you're roughly 200 yards the width of the opening at the bottom of the horseshoe is 300 yards and then going on down you those horizontal lines at 400 500 600 all the way down to a thousand and that's going to give you roughly what your yardage is on an 18 inch target or a human shoulder to shoulder. This reticle is also gonna help with wind adjustments. And so for that, you're gonna use those dots that are going down below the horseshoe. So at each yardage, you see two dots to the left and right of that center line. The dots closest to that center line are gonna be about a five mile an hour wind and the dots furthest out from that center line are going to be about a 10 mile an hour wind. So you determine what yardage you're at and you're going to shift your point of aim to one of those dots depending on whether it's a 5 or a 10 mile an hour wind. Uh, a couple other features you're going to see there are those open circles to the left and right of those holdovers. Those circles are designed to be about a 10 inch circle which is the average size of the human head at those distances so you can see at three four five and six hundred yards you can roughly figure out what your uh, target distance is by seeing which of those circles corresponds with the average size of the head or a 10 inch target and that's going to give you roughly what your range is now also you're going to notice inside of those circles you have some horizontal lines and some other dots there and the way that reticle is designed is to give you your holdovers for the average speed of a person that's walking jogging or sprinting it has these adjustments out to 600 yards anything further than that it wouldn't be near as reliable but those circles are going to be for someone that's sprinting so for example once you figure out what your distance is if the person is running you're going to shift your point of aim to one of those open circles if they're jogging you're going to go to the next dot in and if they're walking you're going to go to that third dot in and this is based on a sprinting speed of 8.6 mile an hour a jogging speed of 6.1 mile an hour and an average walking speed of 3.1 mile an hour so this reticle really does a lot to help you find those holes without having to do a whole lot of calculations and adjustments in your head once you dial your scope in for a hundred yard zero all of these holds should be pretty accurate and then um, you can also use those auto ranging features to help you figure out what range your target's at all right guys now that you know all the specs all the features and how to read the reticle on this thing let's get down to what you really want to know the price point on this scope uh, right now this scope is going for 475 dollars on primary arms website and like i said i'm going to put a link to that in the description below along with these other accessories that i have on here now 475 dollars is uh, i think a really good value for a scope like this you're getting really good quality glass you're getting a great reticle it's a good rugged quality made scope and really could stack up nicely against a lot of scopes in higher price points and definitely great for anyone that's looking for these features for that wide range of magnification and really just wants to step it up a notch i think this is a great scope for you guys if especially if you're building a, a 308 ar10 or you're building a um, precision bolt gun or something like that this scope is very versatile it could easily work well 
for um, close-up shots with that three times magnification and at 18 times magnification you could easily get out to a thousand yards with that especially utilizing uh, those holdovers and some of the features of that reticle that you don't see on a lot of other uh, scopes so I love this thing guys uh, let me know what you think in the comments below if you have any other questions or concerns or any other scopes that you recommend leave them in the comments below if you haven't done it yet guys make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you get notified every time we upload new videos and if you want to help support the channel guys you can do that by using our links in the description you can also join us on patreon or check out pilot patriot apparel for some really cool patriotic and second amendment t-shirts that's it for the 3 to 18 by 50 acss hud dmr scope from primary arms hope you enjoyed it guys please like share and subscribe and we'll see you next time.